Today, I want to talk about the Rock Base theme. You can find Rock Base at rockbase.co, C-O. This is put out by WordPress theme veteran Rafal Tamal and his partner, Chris. Rafal coming back into the WordPress space. Welcome, Rafal. Anyone who was in the Studio Press space for a while, uh, I think even prior to Studio Press, it was a lot of the designs were inspired by and crafted by Rafal Tamal and of course, Brian Gardner. So this is a welcome return to some of the work that Rafal has put out for years. In today's video, we're going to look at sort of the positives and negatives of this theme, which is way too early to even state. So keep that grain of salt in the back of your mind. This just was released a few days ago. And I this is not a sponsored video, I did get access and a free copy of the theme so I could play and test it. So I could share my opinion with you today, they don't have any say and what I am saying in today's video. Let me just punch into the chase here. I think this is a theme that is made for designers and creatives. I think that's the audience. I mean, right here, the headline is the modern WordPress theme for creative pros. And there are some reasons why, because it's not going to be, at least at this point, a theme like a cadence, like a generate press or a page builder plugin that's going to hold your hand along the way and have beautiful onboarding UI and all this stuff. It's really a raw implementation of a, a great looking theme, right, is the best way that I have to put it. So I love the design. If you're into this kind of design, you're going to love it. Modern, clean spacious, <laughs> you know, those are the words that come to my head. Can you use this on a small business website? Probably like any theme you can bend and modify it to meet those demands. But I think the biggest thing when I look at using a theme is, is it going to get me 90 to 95% more so like 95% of the way there, because I don't have the time or the creative demand in my head to make something look amazing. And I want to pick a theme that just hits the target as close as possible. Again, that's my use case. The other thing that I, I really love about this theme is the patterns. And I think they really knocked it out of the park here. They spent a lot of time crafting the unique blocks and patterns so that you can create really great landing pages. But man, I when I see these call to actions, I'm a sucker for a great call to action, a great looking pattern for a subscribe link, a newsletter form sign up. I'm huge on that stuff. And these are great. They're great. There's 100 patterns patterns here. There's a bunch that you can scroll through, frequently asked questions, pricing, hero sections, all your, your typical stuff that you come to expect out of a, a modern website, WordPress theme to help you build a website. It's all here and they've, they've done a fantastic job. The next thing that I think a lot of folks will appreciate, this theme is a pure uh, WordPress blocks core experience. These are a, this isn't another plugin that you're downloading to achieve the blocks and the patterns that Rafal and team have laid out here. I mean, this is the group block. This is the row block. This is the stack block. And what he has done is built everything native to WordPress. That's a huge benefit, right? That's a huge benefit to somebody who wants that kind uh, of experience. Like you don't want to veer off the track and you want that core component. Now, of course, you can extend this stuff with other plugins that work really well with the native experience. The first one that comes to mind is Nick Diego's uh, block visibility plugin. Like if you want to be able to make more dynamic pages, I think that's a great plugin that would tie in well to this theme. Um, but you're not going to get, again, all of the UI and, and UX of a, of a cadence generate press and fill in the blank with your favorite page builder. But that's why you choose this theme. You choose it because you're design forward, you're creative, and you want that core experience. And I think they've done a fantastic job with this stuff, along with the blocks and patterns that they've made. They have these things called playbooks, which are child themes. These are your starter sites, your templates. They call them playbooks. And right now they have the digital creator, which you saw on my website. And again, they'll have these other demos, the podcaster and the digital product by the end of March. Uh, but you import these and you load them into your site. That's what changes the style and the design of the rock base theme. They have a pretty cool icon pack. They have these custom icons that they've made, hand drawn, allegedly, according to this website. So when you're building out the, the layout, Outs, you'll be able to get access to those very unique icons, which is which is really cool. Again, another hat tip towards this is a creator focused theme. There's a Figma design kit, which again, I haven't seen with any other 
top brand themes, maybe somewhere in the knowledge base and stuff like that. But you can have a 56 megabyte Figma file if you want to really punch in and design your own custom layouts in Figma first, which a lot of designers and creatives do. So again, really great that they're thinking in that forward direction. Let's talk about the cons. I already kind of hinted at them. At, at the top of this video, there's no frills with this theme. There's no other UI. There's no other settings page other than your license key. There's no onboarding wizard. There's nobody holding your hand. There's no inline uh, KB articles or videos here. It's what you see is what you get. And you have to kind of be a little bit more advanced on the WordPress side to understand I'm installing this theme. And when I go to import these child themes, it's a manual process. You download the zip, you upload the zip, as a theme, you import the content XML file. And then even from there, there's some things that you have to restructure. Like right now, when you import the XML, it's coming from like their demo sites and all of my top nav navigation items are linking back to the demo. So I can go and change that and edit that in the site editor. Uh, but that's something that uh, I've been used to 15 years ago when we were all building websites like this. You had to go and change uh, the navigation and, and that was slightly painful. But again, you should be somebody that kind of knows how to navigate this stuff, no pun intended. Pattern UI and organization could be better. This is really nuanced here. Like I showed you before, you can get to all of the patterns in the native site editor. But when you're in a page, let me just jump over to a page really quick. I'm all for no clutter. Cadence puts a little icon up top that you can click into and get into your pattern library. The native experience is to open up patterns here and you have them all here that you can you can scroll through. This is fine, but I find this too constricting, right? Like the pattern, the native pattern experience could be better. Organized, tagged, search better. I wouldn't mind if they built their own UI that pops up in a modal and I can search and tag and, and do all that stuff like a cadence. Again, nuance, but things that I look forward to, to seeing improve in the future. I would like to see templates. This is the last one for me. I would like to see templates saved as a template, like complete homepage layout. So for example, when I import that theme, this is my homepage. It's built all by blocks and patterns. I can see it here, but I don't have a specific template that loads those, this homepage style into a page. So what I really like about the site editor, the core site editor, is when you load templates, pull that up, editor, and you pull up the templates. I like the fact that at any point I can pull these templates in and then bring them to another page. Uh, and if I modify a template, I can always revert back to it. So what you have to do with this type of theme is whenever you want to build out another homepage, maybe you want to use a homepage for a product landing page. You have to kind of copy and paste those blocks and navigations into that stuff or save a page in a draft mode that's your homepage template and you're copying and pasting it or saving the whole thing as a reusable block. You could do that. I prefer to have it as a native template. That's just me. There's a million ways to uh, crack this egg, but I would like to see true templates saved that I could populate onto other pages. Look, at the end of the day, like I said, super early, just a few days ago, this uh, theme launched. I think that if you're the creator, you're a designer, you're going to really love the design and the layout that Rafal and team have put together. $99 a year, price goes up at the end of March 31st, 2024, $99 a year for one site, $199 if you want up to 10 sites, access to that circle community and all the assets that I just showed you. It's going to be pretty cool. By the way, because I probably said this in, or I had this in the title or in the thumbnail, Smart Passive Income, use this theme. This is I haven't interviewed Rafal yet. We're, we're setting that up. But this was the first iteration, potentially. Rafal has been in the agency space for a couple of years now and showcased this theme on the Rockbase website, being or Smart Passive Income, being run by the Rockbase theme. Of course, it's been modified. It's been edited a little bit. But the essence of Rockbase is on Smart Passive Income. So if you identify with that kind of business, that kind of brand, once again, this theme is probably going to be for you. Let me know in the comments. Go ahead, post it down. Let me know in the comments. Are you using this theme? Are you using Ollie? Are you using 2024? What pure block-based theme are you using? And if you're not, 
what are you using? Cadence, Generate Press, Bricks, Elementor? Hit me with let me know what you're using in the comments below. Thanks for watching today's video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. The WPMinute.com for your weekly five minutes of WordPress news. The WPMinute.com slash subscribe.